upon a page that might interest you. But we already learned my entire story. Could it be? There is another. This can't be true, but still I see it. Another story hidden in these pages will open before us. Three paces to the left is a stone wall. Three paces to the right there is a stone wall. Beneath me there is a rough stone floor. Around me there is only stone, cold like the hearts of my captors. Cut, imprisoned here in the black hole, this dungeon with no sky, no sun. Forever and ever until I die. Jagged nails scratching the stone wall, crumbled teeth biting through lips. An inhuman roar clawing out of a throat, the animal they turned me into is roaring. Enough, stop Arilu. Remember who you are and what you need to do. My will is still strong. It is the only thing I have left. I force my hand down. I am clench my teeth. I stop the growl. I overcome the animal I'm turning into. Even here, even now, I won't give up. I have a plan, insane, dangerous, life-saving. I will carry it out. I will summon the demons of the abyss. I will destroy this dungeon along with also Sarkoris and perhaps all of Galarian too. What is this place? Is the fortress that resists enemies on the inside, not on the outside. A prison for those whose abilities have not been approved by the priests of Kulura, the shamans of Storasta, or the chiefs of Ease. This is the threshold, and I'm imprisoned in his deepest, imprisoned in his deepest dungeon. What were you imprisoned for? Or what is, or what is the wrong question? The right question is why? Because all the chief priests, druids, and shamans are afraid of one woman, Arilu Warlash. So afraid that their knees tremble, their hair stands on the end, and their teeth chatter. They're afraid for a reason. My wardens don't know my secret. My cell measures six spaces wide by six long, but it's in fact much more spacious. I bite through a vein on my wrist and let my blood wash over the stone floor of my cage. The falling drops form a black spot opening away to my subspace, a small corner of the abyss, my secret heaven and my laboratory. I put pressure on the bleeding wound. I wouldn't want to die, no matter how much it would please my captors, and I step into the portal. I sit at the table and look through my treasures once again. I know all of them. I know every detail and flaw. They are my roots to salvation and my hope. I found them many years ago in the ruins of a well-hidden tower, behind a secret door in the laboratory of an ancient mage. A hard sees uncut crystal burning with purple flame and a blank page torn from an old notebook. How much I'd like to look into this notebook, read all of it, but one page was enough. I run my hand over the page, I feel shreds of the words and thoughts of an ancient mage, some of whom walk the same path I'm walking. There is much I don't understand, many things escape me. I hear echoes of frightened names, Buffalo and Biscari, Nocticula, and Kini. Who is Kini? It doesn't matter. Uh, <clears throat> these shreds of knowledge were enough for me to devise my own method of opening a rift between Galarian and the Abyss. Not to escape, I can escape now, it's not hard with my abilities, but to fight for my future and for the future of my child, whom my captors killed in front of me. And if Galarian is doomed to perish in my struggle, so be it. These are our Arilo's memories. I wonder if the ancient mage who wrote the book to which this page belongs would be proud of me. Arilu found the book of a storyteller and she opened the fucking rift. And that would be the entire story and what actually happened. That's why. She had the power to open the very first rift. A storyteller never did it. He made a deal with Farazma not to do it. Am I proud? I want to say that I'm not, that I'm ashamed that my work has been used to help open the world wound. And still there is a glimmer of pride in me, pride that my work proved a success. Parasma was right, wasn't she? This knowledge should have been destroyed from the start. Evil stems not from knowledge, but from those who possesses it. There is wisdom in your words. If Parasma hadn't made me tear up my notebook and forget about its existence, I would have just hidden it as far away as I could, and Arilu might never have found it there. The Lady of Graves is as much to blame for what happened as I am. Basically, Storyteller fucked it up big time. 
But again, he was deceived by Phrasma, which is a diet. It's just a big Phrasma game, as far as I can tell. And still, the old man hands you the last blank page of his notebook. Please take it. It no longer belongs to me. It is part of another even more frightening and dangerous book. Destroy it or keep it. It doesn't concern me anymore. We received a blank page. Well, at least we know what the fuck happened from the start, and why did it happen. A blank page torn from an ancient notebook. Its surface is yellowed, and there is a small spot of blood on the corner. Now, I spoke with Finian since we did the quest. Start dialogue. Yeah, that's it. Well, now we know the story. The entire story behind Storyteller and Arilo Warlash. So all of this that's happening in the game has to do with Storyteller, Arilo Warlash and Faraz. Demons, they're just the consequence. Goddamn Storyteller, man. You fucked everything up. One final check of the map before we go to those big